judgment and a position in a reverse so somebody is going through judgment for manipulating a situation. They could have manipulated you. They could have manipulated someone else that um, is attached to you. And they were being very um, manipulating. They were doing a lot of stuff so this person could not manifest. They could have been playing with, you know, black magic. That typically is the musician in the reverse. And um, they're under judgment for that. They're being judged. Whoever this energy is, that is this musician in the reverse. They didn't manifest anything but karma. They're going through judgment. They're receiving karma for whatever they had to do. Being a heavy manipulator. So it's like they embody this energy, the musician in the reverse, where they just manipulate people throughout life. So they won't have to work. They won't have to, you know, do anything. They can manifest whatever they want in a negative way by manipulating people. And this is someone that is the master of manipulation and trickery. The musician in the reverse. Yeah, king of swords, seven of pentacles, and two of swords. Two of swords. And then seven of pentacles. So it's like whoever this king of swords is, is someone that was blinded from the truth. This also could be someone that's in, in this King of Swords energy. They, they, they come off as, as if they're someone that's very straightforward. They um, are a nonchalant type of person. They cut off things that no longer serve purpose. And um, they were bl they blinding different people from the truth by, you know, playing mind games over them. Or this person walked into a situation blinded and then seven of pentacles this talks about investment so they could have invested with this person that was heavily manipulating them tricking them you know could have been playing with spell work over them and um they didn't know that as this two of swords is here that they were you know walking into something blinded where they weren't going to get anything out of it they invested in keeping their self blinded from the truth. And now this person is in this King of Swords energy. Um, speaking of truth, cutting off things that no longer serve purpose in their life. It's like this person needed to be, you know, gain some type of wisdom because they were at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth. They could have been blinded to the fact that this person was playing with stuff they know nothing about. And they had invested in this person, you know, went in an investment with this person or gave this person some type of money. They, it could have been um, they invested in something that this person was doing and they were under the impression they were going to get something out of it. They didn't get anything. They thought this person was a straightforward type of energy. But they didn't know this person was blinding in front of the truth. This person was manipulating them. And it's like they received some of that karma, too, by being attached to that energy. Yeah, they're at the Five of Cups and regret. They're ashamed. They were embarrassed. Yeah. They didn't believe something. So somebody could have told this person something and they didn't want to believe it. And it's like now as it came out, you know, what they actually invested in and then they ended up going through karma or judgment. They're in regret. They're crying over spilled milk. They don't know what to do. But it was because this person was blinded from the truth. They were being manipulated with this musician in the reverse. They were being tricked. Somebody intentionally took blindfolds and placed over this person's eyes and they didn't know. They walked into this investment blinded. And as they walked into some type of investment blind, they could have gotten caught up in a situation with this king of swords where they had to defend theirself or something. Yeah. They didn't know that they would, you know, be be standing up in this King of Swords energy, you know, gaining more um, wisdom or knowledge that they needed to know about this Two of Swords. Somebody that was blinding from the truth to the fact that they were blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. And it's like now this person is in this King of Swords energy and they're in regret. Somebody could have came to them and spoke the truth to them and they didn't they didn't believe it. Queen of Wands is here. You could have been the, uh, somebody that came to them. Someone is very intuitive. Someone is very spiritual. 
and you spoke the truth to this person and they didn't believe you. They could be in regret because you're attracting a lot of attention as well. Whoever this energy is, this person could have been trying to manipulate you or either someone that wanted to come toward you. They were being manipulated and blinded from the truth and they went into an investment blinded. Now they're in regret because you're attracting a lot of attention. They took bad advice or something like that. But they were being manipulated and tricked. This person could also embody the energy of, a, you know, the air sign as well. Whoever this person is that blinded them from the truth. You could be a water sign. That person that was blinded from the truth could be a water sign or a fire sign. Yeah. We have all signs here. Temperance and then Eight of Pentacles is here. This person has been working on their self, trying to balance their self out with this Temperance card being here. They want to balance this situation out with you. And um, they've been working on their self so they can be able to balance this situation out. The empress is here. And yeah, this person look at you as an empress. Someone that is um, very abundant, very anointed. Someone who embodies every queen in the deck. You could be someone that is building your own empire. A lot of stuff that you're working on is like you're manifesting. You have creativity. You have foresight. And, um... Yeah. You sit back and attract whatever it is you want out of life. You're someone that, you know, mind your business. You work hard. You're someone that's very grounded. You're someone that's a leader. Two of Cups is here. They want to partner up with you and um, they want to work with you. Yeah. Uh, Page of Pentacles is here. This person is looking at things on a whole nother level, a whole nother way. Yeah, it's like this person is now like, as they got by their self, they're working on their self and, um, getting more grounded and stable. It's like they're seeing things differently. Page of Pentacles is here. They're looking at life a whole nother way. They want to partner up with someone that's like you. They want to work with someone that's like you. Yeah, the strength card is here. You're someone that's very strong. You're someone that went through a lot and you, you came out on top. You went through a lot. So it's like, Whatever you went through, you were called to have strength so you could grow. You're someone that has grown a lot and you went through a lot. And this is how this person view you. You're someone that's very strong. Yeah, King of Cups is here. Yeah, and they have emotions for you. This is someone that you opened up this person's heart chakra. It's like they have emotions for you that's deep. They have love for you that's deep. Yeah. You made this person want to... Um, it's like your strength encouraged this person. It gave them courage to stand up in this King of Cups energy. To know how to express themselves in a proper way. Yeah. Yeah. person could have been someone that was detached from their emotions with this king of swords being here because they were blinded from the truth just blindly investing in things and they were being manipulated so it's like now they're in this king of cups energy their heart chakra has opened up they started working on their self and um 
they're in this temperance type of energy, trying to keep their self grounded, trying to keep their self, you know, stable and balanced. Yeah. And they want to partner up with you. Queen of Cups. So it's like this person look at you as their equal. King and Queen of Cups. You gave this person strength to stand up in their own energy, being able to embody their own energy and notice who they are. Yeah. This person is very attracted to you. This person has a lot of passion for you and this person is in love with you. They went through some regret because they walked into an investment blindly under manipulation and they didn't know. And um, with this King of Swords being here, they needed to um, gain some type of wisdom and knowledge. So they had to be in this energy where they were straightforward with people, cutting them off, speaking the truth after being left to defend their self. I'm here for something that they didn't even do or they were blinded from the truth. They didn't know what was going on. And that's what left them at the Five of Cups in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. Yeah. It made them want to work on their self and balance their self out. Being able to express their self emotionally and not care what people think. This person not only, you know, needed to express their self emotionally, but be able to express how they feel. Not being able to be influenced, being able to open up and say, hey, no, I'm not going to do that. This is something that I'm not going to do. So they wouldn't be so, you know, easy to be influenced and then go walk into something else blinded and invest in that. And then you get karma for whatever you invest in. Whether good or bad. And this person is realizing that. This person is someone that's very emotionally balanced, very loving and caring and kind hearted. Whatever was meant to have this person a bitter and always in this King of Swords energy. This person is realizing that they, you know, they're someone that can embody every king in a deck or queen in a deck. They know when to, uh, you know, express their self properly. They know when they, you know, to speak the truth to people and cut things out. They know when to invest in different situations and they know who to have passion for. Yeah, the hangman is here. And then Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Cups and then the world is here. Yeah, it's like this person ended up getting stuck on you. They're in love. Queen of Cups and then a hangman popped out after that. This person wants to start over with you. It's like they've been watching you nine of cups as wish fulfillment. And that's what helped them complete this cycle out. The world. Get more grounded. Get more balanced. So they could complete this cycle out because they were blinded from the truth. They didn't know they were in a cycle that was toxic or karmic. Two of Wands is here. And then the Lovers is here. Yeah, they realized they were in a, you know, in a cycle that was only keeping them at a stalemate, not knowing which way to go with this two of wands. It was only just keeping them, you know, keeping them like stuck where they could not make a proper decision. If they wanted to be, you know, 
attached to their low, stay attached to their lower self or their higher self. And they were supposed to be keeping, you know, in a cycle out with their lower self and walking into a new cycle with their higher self. Because that's also what this lover's card could mean, you know, choosing your higher self and your lower self. Sometimes it can mean a choice between two lovers and that will have you at a two of wands. But this person was someone that um, they didn't know anything about, you know, their higher self or their lower self. This person could have ran from their higher self as they seen you in a high vibrational energy. And they could have ran from you. And then they, you know, went and chose their lower self. And they didn't know they were blinded from the truth. They were being manipulated. And that will that was keeping them at a stalemate. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. It's like this person did this um, each lifetime. Six of Cups. And they didn't know. This person could have thought this was their only lifetime. They didn't know that this hadn't happened over and over and over again. This person was, you know, supposed to have been letting go of the past. But it's like this person ended up going back to the past because they were afraid. They didn't know. This person was at the two of swords blinded from the truth. And they were just doing what they were used to. Yeah, three of cups is here. They could have been the type of person that will always, you know, go off of what friends thought. Or they, you know, like to party and be seen or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that, but... um. Yeah, I'm also getting this person wants to reunite. You know, this is someone that you were with in a past life and they want you were married to this person. Six of Cups and Three of Cups. That's why this person have been watching you at the Nine of Cups Wish Fulfillment. You were married to this person in a past life and um that's why they want to reunite with you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this person had been waiting or you have been waiting for this person or something like that with this two of wands and the lovers being here to complete a cycle out. The world is here. And this is someone you was married to in a past life. Whoever this king of cups and queen of cups, y'all could have kids, to get, you know, had kids together and y'all were in love. Yeah, the will of fortune is here. This is somebody that you're destined to be with. You have a destiny with this per this person and a purpose. You have good luck, longevity. And um, the will will only turn in your favor, you know, as you're walking in your destiny. The will will only turn in that person's favor as they're walking in their destiny. Different people that will try to throw you off track or throw this person off track. As you and this person are walking in your will of fortune, they get issued out karma for that. As you're walking in your calling and in your purpose, no matter who it is, this person didn't know any of that. They were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They didn't know. They were being heavily manipulated, you know, manipulated so they wouldn't come towards you. And these are people that could have knew that you and this person were past life soulmates or this person was your twin or y'all had a destiny and a purpose together. Y'all were destined to be together. Y'all were in love, different stuff like that, that these people knew, but they didn't want this person to um, come towards you. These are people that this person needed to complete a cycle out. The world is here. And it's like you and this person's answers have been waiting and waiting and waiting in the spiritual realm, two of wands. That's like being in a stalemate between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. They were waiting for this person to end a cycle out, a toxic karmic cycle from past life galaxy generations ago. And this person didn't know because they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They were being manipulated by people that they were attached to. And this could have been, I'm also seeing with the six of cups and three of cups, this could have been people that they kicked it with and they knew for a long time. You know, people that they grew up around or they had, you know, a connection with for a while. And they were playing with, you know, manipulation and trickery over this person to keep them blinded from the truth and go into investments blinded. And they didn't know. Yeah, towers here. It's like this person ended up going through a drastic change. A lot of stuff came out that this person didn't know. But this person needed to go through a tower moment so stuff could get exposed because they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. And they did not know. 
Yeah. The moon card is here. This is a lot of stuff that was hidden. The tower card and the moon card. Deep stuff that was hidden. Deep secrets. All of this stuff came out. And this could be past, present, or near future. You know, it's a lot of stuff that's probably still hidden that's getting ready to explode and come out. And that person didn't know. Yeah, it's getting ready to be a tower moment. And this is all the stuff that was hidden. A lot of stuff that was done in the dark is getting ready to be exposed. Yeah, four cups is here. This is a lot of stuff that um this could have been spell work with this moon card being here. A lot of stuff that was rejected. It's like it's with this tower card, it's, it's coming back all at once. So is this, you know, the manipulation and the position in the reverse is like playing with spell work. And um, this person could have been playing with black magic or something like that to blind this energy, your, your person from the truth. And it's like everything got rejected. And they're getting ready to experience a tower moment. It's like a, oh, all of that getting ready to come back. Whatever they secretly sent out as they were blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about, it's getting ready to come out. It's getting ready to come back and it's getting ready to create a tower moment. For whoever this person is that's at the Four of Cups, they were insecure, dealing with some type of insecurities and they felt rejected. They didn't know that whatever they were putting out would be rejected because they're in this Four of Cups energy and the truth will be exposed, Ace of Swords Clarity about them trying to distract this person and slow this person down so they would not come towards you or come towards their good luck, their will of fortune, their purpose and their destiny. It's like they didn't want this person to complete a cycle out. They thought they would slow this person down so they wouldn't complete this toxic cycle out. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here and Nine of Wands. They're nervous because they hadn't did something to pin this person down. They could have tried to uh, wish death on this person with this Ten of Swords being here. Like they wanted them pent down or snatched down from everything where they wouldn't be able to get back up. They could have wanted this person to actually pass away. So it's like whatever they had done sent out, it was rejected and they didn't know. They were at the Two of Swords blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. And now they're sitting back in fear, nine of wands. They're nervous. They're feeling guilty about whatever they had and did. It's like they sat back just openly playing with stuff they know nothing about. And they didn't do their research. They were under the impression they can do this to anybody. No matter who you do stuff too good or bad, it's going to come back on you. So if it's a bad person, you do something to them, that's coming back on you. That's not your call. If it's somebody that's good and you're just intimidated by this person, jealous of this person, and you want them to be at the Ten of Swords, harsh, painful endings, and you did this over and over and over again, it's coming back to you. This is not your call. That's what this person did not know and they didn't get. They were used to doing stuff to people over and over and over again, used to betraying people, pinning them down for harsh, painful endings, stepping on people back. And not caring. They're nervous because that's all coming back. Yeah, Page of Swords is here. That's why this person is, you know, constantly watching, observing, spying. They could have been watching you to try to see if it hit you, whatever they were secretly doing to you. And they had this person secretly, you know, blind investing in them. This person could have got different materials or whatever to try to play with um, black magic over you. And this person didn't know that they were invested in their own demise. If you and this person share the same soul. And it's like that person was just sitting back watching you trying to see if it was working. And they're nervous. Because it was rejected a long time immediately as they sent it out. And they don't know when it's coming back. It could have been hitting different people attached to them. And they weren't even thinking about that. They were too busy watching you to try to see if it was going to hit you. See what was going to happen to you because it they was intentionally trying to pin you down at the Ten of Swords. Or intentionally trying to pin that person down at the Ten of Swords. They didn't care. This is somebody that intended to try to have that person blinded from the truth. 
keep getting that person to pay for something. So it's like if they they figured if this person would give them money and they invested in them um, blindly and they didn't know this person was playing with spell work, they knew this person would get hit with that karma. So it's like they were in hopes to pin that person down and have that person help them, but they were blinded. They didn't know. They didn't know that they were paying for their own demise. They didn't know that they were, you know, giving people, investing in people that wanted a ten of swords for them. Or you. So it's like they needed to get by their self, work on their self, balance their self out. And it's like people are nervous because it was rejected. This ten of swords is just coming back to whoever signed it out. Yeah, Knight of Swords is here. They're angry. They're pissed off. Yeah. Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah. They're angry about whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad. So they're pissed off and mad at the universe. <laughs> That's just how the universe work. If they wouldn't have been blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about and did their research, they would have knew. But it's like this person thought that they hadn't blinded this uh your your person from the truth, but they were blinded from the truth. Blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. And they have been doing this for a long time. And it's like they're pissed off and mad because whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad. Equal give and take. Yeah, three of swords and six of wands is here. They're, they're stressed out and heartbroken, going through heartache because this person is having victory and success. You're having victory and success. They chose to be blinded, playing with stuff they know nothing about. Trying to go against people that they thought were people that were very naive. All because you and this person are in love with each other or have love for each other. And y'all were past life um, soulmates or twins. They thought it was y'all were, you know, too easy peasy people. Naive. It was sweet for them to pin y'all down at the Ten of Swords. And do different stuff to y'all unbeknownst to y'all. And y'all would be blinded from the truth. This person didn't get that whatever they did was going to come back on them. They're heartbroken because you're being seen for who you really are. A lot of people respect you and hold you in high honor. That breaks that person's heart. This person is somebody that ran in quick at the Knight of Swords and tried to confuse people and lie on you. Had a lot of people sitting back watching you, Page of Swords. They didn't know that they would be exposed for someone that was just bitter. Pissed off and mad, jealous, angry. For no apparent reason. Yeah. Your light irritates this person's demons. Eight of Swords is here. This person is stuck in some type of situation. And they possibly didn't know they were at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth. This person was being watched and they didn't know. With this Page of Swords being here. They're caught up in some type of situation. Yeah, and then four of wands is here. This person was trying to bind you and your twin. They thought that they were going to bind y'all in some type of way or have y'all stuck. They would play tricks over y'all mind, have you think in a certain way, have them think in a certain way. And they would be y'all would be sitting back blinded from the truth. They're pissed off and mad and heartbroken because you're having victory and success. That person is having victory and success. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here and Ace of Cups. It's like this person have walked away um, from things that no longer serve purpose in their life. They walked away from a confused mindset and they chose their self, Ace of Cups. They figured they start off with their self, finally showing their self some love. And they would be able to mat, you know, partner up with someone that's in that same energy, Two of Cups. And they will be able to exchange cups with that person. As they wanted this person to walk away from you and not look back because they knew this person was in love with you. Yeah, two of pentacles is here. They thought they were going to have you going back and forth in your head and that person going back and forth in their head. Now they're sitting back being weighed down, pressured and burdened. 
Yeah. And then the unknown card is here. Yeah, this person is being weighed down, pressured, and burdened. And this could be someone that you don't even know, or maybe they don't want you to know. Yeah, what they're going through. This King of Cups could be someone that they don't want you to know what they're going through or what they went through. Yeah, Ten of Cups in the reverse. They could have went through something with a family or they were, you know, building something and it, was, it wasn't it was what it seemed. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody don't want this person to be happy. Or they're realizing this, you know, someone didn't want them to be happy. I don't know why, but this person was around people that wanted to make them, you know, be at the Ten of Wands way down. Because you're at the Nine of Pentacles. Single, self-sufficient, abundant. You know, you're just minding your business. You know, doing you, you're not even worried about any of this. You're not even paying attention to this person that um, they were trying to block off from you. You're focused on your stability, you know, being grounded, being able to, you know, just be yourself, focusing on your business. And it weighs this person down. They don't want you to know. You being single as well, it weighs this person down. You being very abundant. Yeah, this person could feel like they're no use to you, for you, or something like that. Page of Wands, and then Justice is here. So they've received some type of communication, or they want to communicate with you so Justice could be um, served. They feel like the only way Justice will be served if they communicate with you. Seven of Wands is here. And Seven of Cups. So, yeah, this person was blocked off from you or they're blocked off from you because they're around a lot of people that set the seven of cups. They're confused. Or these are people that were trying to create illusions for them. Something backfired on these people that um, it's like something backfired a while, like a long time ago. But I don't think that the people that were intentionally trying to create blockages knew they were too busy just sitting back watching you and that person to see if um, whatever they were doing secretly was working. So they're not paying attention to this tower. It's hidden. Everything is going to come back on them and they don't know. It's hidden. They don't know. They, they're too busy confused. They're in illusions and confusions. Yeah, for trying to create blockages for that person. That's why everything backfired. They could have sat behind the scenes and wanted to create blockages for you because they seen you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You didn't do nothing but grow. This made you gain a lot of strength. You were called to have strength throughout this entire situation. And you still were by yourself minding your business, doing you. Queen of Swords in the reverse. And then the star card is here. Yeah, this person, whoever this Queen of Swords in the reverse is, this is someone that's jealous, envious. The same person that's jealous of who you are, the energy that you walk in. They didn't know you were healed. They didn't know you were someone that was a star. They, they knew that you were someone that was destined for success, destined for greatness. But they figure if they throw some black magic over you, they can confuse you and create blockages. They didn't know that they were secretly creating blockages for their self and justice would be served for you. And you would come out having victory and success. They were blinded from the truth to whatever that they had to be sitting back investing in. They didn't realize they weren't going to get anything out of it. 